What's this thing about information? You're saying this is a key factor. What's that all about? Yeah, that, that's the type of value that's often forgotten, I guess. It's not the most uh, obvious one, I would say. But just the fact that you're taking back your products actively and you have the opportunity to inspect them, you can see what is the wear and tear of your products. You can see how your customers use your products or how they are not using your products the way that you expect them to, to use your products. That gives you very valuable information about how to improve your supply chain processes. And the most obvious one there, I guess, is product uh, design. Right? You can just redesign your products in such a way that they fit uh, your customers' need better. But also you can think of uh, supply chain processes. You know, if you notice that customers return products because they don't like them, because they don't meet their expectations, there must be something wrong with your marketing strategy or your distribution strategy. And it also gives you opportunities to improve your processes. It's very valuable. I mean, uh, lots of businesses, they hire very expensive consultants to do small surveys to, to somehow get that information. Yeah. And now you get it for free because you already have your closed loop. So I'd like to come back and, and sort of wrap it all up if I can. We've got this whole concept of the circular economy that we, this, this discussion sits in. And then we've got this idea of a closed loop supply chain. How do they really fit together? Are they complementary? To me, uh, circular economy is like a macroeconomic uh, uh, container term, right? I mean, you have this, this idea that we need to reuse materials and products in some kind of, 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 of good way to, to create value. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we just discussed the, the different types of value that we can create. Um, from the business perspective, you need a supply chain to organize that. Mm -hmm. And in this case, you need a closed loop supply chain. You need to close the supply chain loop, right? So that, that's what I uh, understand by closed loop supply chain management. You know, it's, it's, it's the micro uh, economic uh, implementation of, of circular economies. And, and the circular economy can, cannot do without them, right? I mean, it, it is about those closed loop supply chains. Also, if you talk about sustainability, just to coin another container term, you cannot have a, a sustainable a supply chain without a closed loop, that's in my really, opinion. That's really interesting, yeah, it, it makes obvious sense.